is just disconnect the leads going to the coil, which is this one right here and the other one over here to the right. So if I disconnect these two leads, All right, guys, so right now we're checking if there's any power. We disconnected it from the disconnect switch, but I always like to check myself because safety is first, and I don't want to get shocked with 220 volts. Neither do I want my technician to get shocked. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is, guys, very simply, is just disconnect the leads going to the coil, which is this one right here and the other one over here to the right. So if I disconnect these two leads and I go back downstairs and I put another fuse in, or you could use a special tool, which basically is just a, a little mini circuit breaker. Uh, I have one, but I don't have one with me. But we're gonna put another fuse and check her out. And if it doesn't pop, that <laughs> tells me immediately that the problem is the contactor. And from experience doing this for many years, this is usually the source or the main problem why the fuse blown or the fuse, you know, burns out. So, all right guys, stay tuned.